Hey folks, Jarek here, and today we are exploring new location to look for chalk and Cretaceous deposits, hopefully with fossils. We are in the new place, we haven't been here before, still looking how to get down to the river and find, find the precious fossils. The scenery is amazing, but it's too steep in places like this to go down. We need to find the path. <laughs> This could be our way to go down. Yeah, not so steep. I did reach the river. Crazy amount of mosquitoes in this forest. Now we have to look for chalk. There we go. The river is reached. If there is fossils, there should be a signs of fossils in the river itself, even if you don't find chalk, but I hope you do find chalk. And just so you know, uh, how high was we were looking down? Yeah, quite high, like, I don't know, 20 meters, maybe more. Check this out, this is chalk, the white stuff is chalk. Yeah, for sure, 100% chalk. Look at this. There's basically a whole layer of chalk in here. That's quite reassuring. God damn, this one is a fat one. Belovnite from the Cretaceous period, so there is fossil somewhere. I will have to clean it up properly. <laughs> so there is fossils. We are here for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. This is first fossil in the chalk. We found nothing, but now we know there is something. So yeah, let's keep looking, guys. Really exciting, but it, it wasn't in the straight in the chalk, it was just on the river bank. Kind of expected a bit because I did expect fossils being washed out in the river banks. That's what I was planning to check first. But we did check chalk. In the chalk we found nothing yet, but I guess we will return to it because of this. More fossils at the river bank, one more bellum night. Damn, I was looking for something else. I'm finding Bellum Knights at a lot of places now, including this one. I'm hoping for something else, not just Bellum Knight, even though it's cool. Still cool. Yeah, in the, in the chalk, we found nothing. We were digging for like one with a half hours. We found one small shell in it. And I'm not even sure if that shell was modern or Cretaceous because it was crazy fragile. Either way, two bell nights is not enough to satisfy my fossil hunger, hunger. So plan B, we will go to find some fossils old school way in the sand quarry. And next stop will be there.
try to split it open some layers from this huge boulder and we did find some trilobite pieces more exact two us pieces this is one pygidium of trilobite maybe can be uncovered a little bit with preparation and there is second one with shell intact but it's uh, a lot smaller other than that nothing interesting lots of small eroded shells very pirate eye shell <laughs> a little bit incomplete I would like to take it maybe we can find a complete one because this rock I'm smacking is full of shells there it is basically quartz druzy it shines a lot better in real life than here It will be rather heavy, but I will take this whole block home. Look at the colors and it's druzy. This is just a mollusk. Maybe we can prep it and have a block of colorful mollusks. That would be awesome. Like we, this two, there is one, there is some more. Maybe there is even more. This whole block I will take home. Hopefully it will be worth it. <laughs> nice. Quite empty in this quarry as well, but I'm happy with those shells. It's like one more hour past, I'm not even sure. I found one weird thing and we are getting ready to go back to the car because it's like extremely hot and it's like 7 o'clock in the evening so it's time to go home because we still have like one and a half hours drive. So yeah, I will show you now this one thing I found. I'm not even sure it's fossil or not. Let me know in the comments if someone knows. There it is, this is the rock. Could be some sort of burrow of an animal. If it's like coral or whatever, it's very badly preserved. Yeah, so if someone knows what the hell is this, let me know. For now I will take it with me, but I'm ready to throw it away, just in case. Yeah. We are home, folks, and yeah, we did not drink a lot today. We have one fat bellum night from the first location, and we have some pieces from the second one. There is one pygidium of one trilobite. I will try to uncover it a little bit more and see if the pygidium at least is complete. We have a second pygidium in here, but it looks like the shell did pop off. I will also try to uncover a lot, a bit of it, but I'm not sure if this one looks good. Probably will not keep this piece, but we'll try to uncover it more. And also we have this weird thingy. I have no idea uh, from what period is this uh, glacial, glacial erratic rock, but it has some interesting stuff inside. Pretty sure it's a fossil, but I'm not sure what kind of fossil. There was some suggestion that, suggestions that it was some sort of eurypterid, a sea scorpion, but uh, most likely what it is is just some sort of plants. And I have no idea from which period. Either way, I did take it and the best specimen from the day is a brachiopods and mollusks <laughs> not very cool but these ones are crazy nice if we check them under the sunlight they have this uh, crystal druzy effect and that's because they fossilized in quartzite quite cool i will try to prep this block maybe there is some more of these brachiopods inside and maybe we can make a decent display piece out of this block we'll see <laughs>
there we go we are finished with the prep and now while it's wet we can't see the shine from the quartzite so we have to wait while this thing dries off and then we will check the shine and i uncovered as much shells as possible and i haven't destroyed a single one i think there we go it's dry once again camera doesn't show the beauty i see in real life with my eyes every single shell has this quartzite which looks like quartz druzy and it's shining a lot oh you see when there is a little bit blurry image they shine a lot more every single shell has that <laughs> quite happy with this piece to be honest that's how it is sometimes quite uneventful fossil hunting yielded a nice fossil for my display which i'm quite happy to be honest and yeah <laughs> the fossil itself like it's really common right just brachioplots and some mollusks quite dog but the fossilization is like quite uncommon i guess maybe not uncommon but interesting and that's why it's so fun because every fossil even though it's like could be the same species it's fossilized a bit differently and it's uh, interesting like for me it's like a new fossil i have tons of brachiopods different species from different fossilization but this is the first one which is fossilized in quartz druzy and yeah i hope you did enjoy this content thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and see you next time bye